the concrete needs to be mixed thoroughly to ensure that the mass becomes homogeneous, gets uniform color and consistency, so essential for the production of consistent quality concrete. The size of the mixer should accommodate the ingredients of one batch. 200 liter mixers are the most popular. The mixer shall be kept clean, free from dents on inner surface and the blades should be properly aligned. Since the materials are proportioned by volume, care should be taken while measuring the ingredients. The firma boxes or any other standard measure like buckets or gamelas should be of the same size and they should be filled to the same level. One fourth quantity of water is to be poured into the drum first. It should be followed by half the quantity of stone aggregates and sand and then the full quantity of cement. Then the remaining quantities of aggregates, sand and water are added. For mixer fitted with hopper, stone aggregates are placed first, followed by sand and cement into the hopper. The ingredients are to be mixed for at least two minutes before discharging. This is counted from the moment all the water is added into the drum. Finishing of the concrete surface is done after compaction to obtain true, uniform and smooth surface. There are various steps involved in finishing. The first step is screeding. This is the process of striking off excess concrete using a straight edge. The surface is struck off by moving the straight edge back and forth across the top of the surface. This removes the bumps, hollows, and gives uniform leveled surface. Next step is called floating. It removes the irregularities left after screeding and firmly embeds the large aggregate particles. This is done using wooden floats which are moved forward and backward. The last step is troweling. It is done to obtain very smooth and highly wear resistant surface. It is done using a steel trowel. Troweling should not be done on a surface that is not floated. Spreading of dry cement on wet surfaces should be avoided as it causes weaker surfaces, cracks and blisters. Curing is the process of maintaining moisture of freshly placed concrete to ensure proper hardening, attaining desirable strength and durability. Curing keeps the concrete surface moist and reduces the shrinkage cracks. Curing should be started at the earliest. It has to be started when surface is hard enough for a person to walk over it without damage to concrete. Till such time, the surface moisture may be maintained by splashing or spraying water without force. Method of curing depends on type of member. Ponding is used for flat members like slabs. It is done by impounding the water to a depth of around 50 millimeters. The slab is to be divided by constructing small bunds with lean mortar or mud. Bunds are filled with water. Ponds are replenished with water at frequent intervals. Wet covering is generally used for columns, sloped surfaces, beams, concrete walls. The concrete surfaces are to be covered with wet jute bags, burlaps, straw, etc. Water is sprinkled on these coverings at regular intervals to ensure continuous wetness. 
These should not be allowed to dry even for a short duration. Sprinkling or spraying method is generally used for masonry and plaster. The frequency of spraying or sprinkling should ensure that the surfaces are continuously moist. It is advisable to cure the members for a minimum period of 10 days. Intermittent curing is more dangerous than not curing as it leads to cracking and craving.